an old Norse word meaning expedition. Fierce warriors and adept explorers, venturing many thousands of miles from their homeland. Evidence of Viking settlements have been discovered from as far west as Russia to across the Atlantic Ocean and Newfoundland. In the year 914, a Norwegian fleet under the command of Regnum, grandson of Ivor, set sail for Ireland, or Hibernia, as it was then known. They had been driven out 12 years previous by the native Irish, without having gained a permanent foothold on the land. This journey will change that. Invaders from the frozen north, distant men from a distant land, under the watch of foreign gods, in longboats, each made from over 300 trees, they set sail for a natural harbor, with the water on two sides, a perfect berth on Ireland's southeast coast. In his life, a man can undertake many journeys, and all journeys can change the man. But for Regnal, his journey will change a nation. Our port has been faithfully advised. A triangle. 
like wildfire. They prayed to their God to save them, but he did not show himself. We took the lives of those that opposed us, and from the rest, we took everything else. We have amassed much livestock and a great wealth of silver and gold. So tonight we feast, we sing, we cheer, we drink. The mood of the men is high, but the fight is done. But tomorrow we must remain steadfast in our goal. To hold this ground, to defend this port. Vadre Fjord, Vadre Fjord, Vadre Fjord. The Northmen took everything they could. The rest they razed to the ground. They plundered villages, killing men and taking the women. Children were dragged away in chains to be sold to the highest bidders of distant cities and empires as far away as North Africa. They pillaged the monasteries. Ancient books were burned, holy relics stolen, and sepulchers were made bare. For now the monks had a new prayer. From the fury of the Northmen, Lord deliver us. foundations of a permanent long port. Though it was not all misfortune for the people of Vadra Fjordra, following the establishment of this stronghold, there followed a period of thriving trade in amber, silver, and slaves. The Vikings also introduced new crafts and techniques which were to influence Gaelic artisans working with wool, stone, leather, and bone. They in turn were influenced by Gaelic Irish craftsmen a blending of native Irish and Viking artistic traditions, especially in fine metalwork, led to the emergence of a new style known as Hiberno-Norse, which became one of the great cultural high points of early medieval Europe. Vadra Fjord, the first Viking city, the first city on this isle, will hold fast for 1100 years and many more years after. Here with these men it began, and here with us is where it continues. As I look upon these shores and watch the sun rise over the river, I steer a sense of possibility. I draw privilege and strength from my surroundings. I have left my old home and I gaze upon a new land, a land whose breeze carries the smell of smoke, blood and tears, yet I savour an air of sweet contentment. This world is not yet mine, but one day soon it will be. This port is not yet home, but soon I will make it so. I will defend it with my life. I will make this a great city with strong walls and strong towers to protect people with strong hearts. Our generations will grow between these walls long after we too are in Valhalla. This city will not forget my name. Glory is here. Scott Valhalla Fjord. 